Hi guys, it's Bex here. Welcome back to another session with Go Tots. The last few weeks we've been learning all about Jesus' last weeks with his disciples before he died. Two weeks ago we learned about the special meal that he gave his disciples and last week we learned about Jesus going into the garden to pray. He went there so he could talk to God, the Father, but while he was there Judas brought some soldiers. He showed the soldiers who Jesus was and they arrested him. And then Jesus' disciples ran away. They left Jesus. Things were not looking very good. But you know what? We know God always has a plan. So let's find out what happened next. After Jesus had talked to God in the garden, he was taken away by soldiers. The soldiers took Jesus to the leaders. The leaders did not like Jesus. They did not believe that he was God's son. They did not like Jesus talking about God. They asked Jesus lots of questions, but Jesus did not say anything. Then they asked Jesus, are you God's son? Jesus replied, yes, I am. The leaders did not like Jesus saying that. They wanted to kill him. Meanwhile, Peter, Jesus' friend, had followed him to the courtyard of the leaders and was sitting by the fire outside. He saw Jesus going off to the leaders. Peter decided to stay close by and see what would happen to Jesus. A girl came up to Peter. You are Jesus' friend, said the girl. Peter was scared. No, I'm not, he said. Another girl spoke to Peter again. You were with Jesus, she said. No, I wasn't, Peter responded. Some others said, I'm sure you were. I don't even know Jesus, said Peter. Just then, the cockerel crowed. Suddenly, Peter remembered that Jesus had said, Before the cock crows, you will say three times that you don't know me. Peter burst into tears. He knew that he had let Jesus down. Then Jesus was taken off to see the man in charge of the whole country. The man in charge asked Jesus lots of questions. Are you a king? He asked. Yes, Jesus answered. The man in charge did not know what to do. In the end, he decided to get rid of Jesus because so many people wanted him to and he washed his hands to show that he didn't want anything else to do with Jesus. And he handed Jesus back to the soldiers. Things are still not looking very good, but you know, we know God had a plan. Let's think about Peter for a moment. When Peter was at that special meal with Jesus, Jesus had told him that he would deny knowing Jesus three times. And then after that, the cockerel would crow. And Peter had insisted that couldn't be true. But as we saw, it did happen. I'm sure Peter must have felt so upset with himself. He might have even felt angry with himself for doing that. Do you ever feel sad or angry with yourself when you do something wrong? Have you ever been told not to do something by your parent or your teacher or someone looking after you? And even though you knew you shouldn't have done it, you did it anyways. I know when I've done that that I felt really bad that I've upset someone by not listening to what they told me to do. You know, the Bible teaches us that God is really quick to forgive. That's such good news. So all we have to do to be forgiven is recognise that we've done something wrong and be honest about it. First, we need to tell the person that we've not listened to or we've upset that we've done something wrong. And then we can tell God and we can do that by praying to him. We can say, Jesus, I'm sorry that I did something wrong. Please forgive me. And you know what the amazing thing is? Whenever you ask God to forgive you, he does. He will always forgive us. And when we're forgiven, it makes us feel better inside. It's like a weight has been lifted off us. 
I've got a fun activity for you today to remind you of God's amazing forgiveness. So for today's craft, you are going to need some card, some pens, some washable markers, some sellotape and some scissors. You'll either need children's scissors or you'll need an adult to help you. Okay, and the first thing we are going to do is we're going to make a big heart. So I'm going to get my paper and I'm going to fold it in half. We're making a heart because when we think about forgiveness, we normally think about holding things in our heart and forgiveness is all about letting things go so our hearts are free. So I'm going to I'll draw it for you so you can see on my paper. I'm going to draw half of a heart. Because I've folded it in half, I know if I put it out now, it's going to come out symmetrical. They're looking the same on both sides. So now, you might need an adult to help you. It's time to cut the half out. Unfold it and check we do have a heart. There you go, that's a lovely looking heart. Okay, the next thing we're going to do for this activity is we are going to cover this heart in tape. Now it's very important that we cover every single space on this heart. We can't have any gaps in it, every single part of it must be covered. So it might take a different time, but you want to make sure that you and then you go round as well. So you might need to cut off a little extra excess if there's any excess. You see we've gone over and round. And then I'm overlapping it ever so slightly just to make sure there's definitely no gaps. Okay, so as you can see I've got a couple lines going down so I'm going to keep going down way to here and I'm going to go all the way across and then again I'm going to make sure there's no gaps in the back for my entire heart is covered. This might take a little bit of time so if you want to you can pause this now because I've got one that I've already covered in tape to save some time but you can always pause this video continue covering with tape and come back when you are done. So this is the heart that I made earlier and as you can see it is completely covered in tape. There's no parts of it showing. So this is like our hearts and we were given our hearts completely clean. But what happens is sometimes things happen that can burden our hearts so they can make us feel upset. Maybe somebody has hurt us. Maybe they were mean to us or and they said some, um, called us some bad names or they wouldn't let us play with them. And that's left us feeling sad. Or just like we were talking about forgiveness, Maybe we were mean to somebody else. Maybe we got angry and we yelled at somebody. And we know that we made them feel upset. And now we feel bad for doing something mean. So that's the angry face there. Or maybe we just felt like there's a lot going on. Well, we're not quite sure what's going on. But 
we may be feeling a little bit anxious about the things that we're not sure about and it feels like there's a cloud maybe some rain even Till next 